Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. My name is the E-Pad. In the last part, we uh, did some stuff at the new Safari Zone gate and did a test there. And we might get some calls from Baoba to let us know that everything's going to be okay. In this episode, we are finally going to head out to Route 42. Um, finally continue on with the main story of this game, which is great. Uh, I just want to find some stuff around here. We still don't need any uh, Ultra Balls, though. But we have here... We have some uh, Hyper Potions here, which is pretty cool. So I guess if you want, you can buy some. Uh, just for a record, whenever you, like, find... Whenever a certain item gets, you know, sold at one specific point in the game, it will be sold in almost every uh, store at this point. And, oh god, I need some revives. Just in case. We didn't want to have that same incident we had before at the other route. Uh, I don't think I'll need anything else than that, but, um, they also sell some, uh, some repels, max repels, so I'm probably gonna stick with those. I mean, it's, financially, it's better to have super repels because, you know, it's only 50 steps less, but, I don't know, for some reason, I just keep on using max repels. I don't know why. Alright, so now, let's head off. Let's head off to, uh, Route 42, and finally, uh, Tell to some people. I don't think I'll be talking to this guy. My more is like amazing side. Be careful, don't get lost in there. Yeah, whatever. At least it's not dark in there. And ah, uh, the music, so good. All right, uh, we're gonna head into this cave just now. But first, I wanted to uh, get the time to. Do I have? Oh, I don't have Sentry with me. Well, aren't I stupid? You know what? How about this? How about we talk about the Pokemon you can get at Route 42 in the grass? It's on the far right of this route, but you can just surf along there. First, you can get uh, Mankey, who is a very superb fighting type. Very underrated or overrated at the same time. I can't really tell. It's fast. It's actually, no, it is the fastest pure fighting type in this game. And if you want a Pokemon to deal some good damage uh, to your opponents quickly, this is a good Pokemon to have. Next up, we have uh, Meryl, or no, excuse me, not Meryl, Goldeen, which you can uh, surf, which you can uh, fish for good rod or surf around the water. Goldeen's not uh, that great; it's really average with its physical attack. Luckily, it has good physical attack in this game, which is nice. But still, the rest of its stats is not interesting. It's it's one of those Pokemon that's you know you can use for uh, just for slave purposes, I guess you can say. Uh, interesting fact, though. Goldeen is, uh, one of the few Pokemon that can learn the move Waterfall leveling up. So that's pretty cool. I mean, you, you know, you can save your trouble from, um, finding the HM, even though it's not that tough, but still. That's pretty interesting. So now, with that said, let's head off to this part right here. As you can see, ho ho ho! Right here, man, there is an item! What, you think there's something down there? Heck, <laughs> like I care. Uh, so when we just open this with the nice music and gaze at that beautiful glory that is Suicune. <laughs> Alright, Suicune, you're trapped now! Haha, -ha, what the hell? You push me. And it's you. Great. <laughs> Suicune, how brave it is. How refreshing it is. How beautiful it is. How gay I am. <laughs> Ishan, you seem to be around where Suikun would appear. Well, that's okay. My desire to search for Suikun is far beyond yours. My grandpa was quite into this. I've heard so many stories about Suikun from him. Suikun, I won't stop following you until I found out what you're after. You hear me? Freak. Always with those blue rope furry fetish peoples. It's gross. It's disgusting. All right. Uh, we would head into that second cave, but that actually doesn't lead us to anywhere without a certain HM. So, we're going to head into Mount Mortar. A cave that I don't necessarily like all that much. There's really nothing much in here as of yet. We need some uh, new moves to actually get a lot further in. But, in here we also got two new Pokemon. Uh, one of them is Meryl. I actually got this right this time. Uh, Meryl... Is so much better, so much better. Uh, as I like to call it, it's Pika Blue, Pika, Water Pikachu, pretty much. It's very bulky, very, very defensive, and uh, it's 
ability huge power makes up for his lackluster attack because now uh it actually is a good physical attacker and you know it's it does a job pretty good it's not as aggressive as say gyarados but then again gyarados is not as bulky but still i would definitely recommend this pokemon if you need a uh if you need a water pokemon a physical one i was gonna go after this uh thing in my team but the water pokemon i want is actually a special attacker so i'm just gonna stick with that and hey we got some revives there's really not much around here uh like i said we need a certain agent to get past here uh but there are there's like a trainer here that uh is looking for his headmaster but um why don't we just use strength right here hopefully you can find an extra item around here so that's pretty cool anyways uh i'm pretty sure at this point you've guys seen the new xbox and i'm sure some of the xbox fans are either disappointed whereas anti-xbox fans like myself are just laughing away we just don't like xbox or microsoft in general we it's like uh they're not good of a company and we had a feeling it's going to end up this way hopefully it's going to get worse at e3 it might feel i think it might be better in some cases but uh hopefully it'll be worse and we're just going to find some items along the way this is just hysterical really um I guess we can head down as well. Um, or, no, we can't. There's some weird-looking Cheerios on the way. Okay, we got an escape rope. I guess I'll save that for one point. Because I don't think I'll be uh, saving my dig that late. Um, I guess we could take on the trainers as well here. So why don't we take you on and get some like nice experience. I mean, they're not required, but they're... Uh, yeah. Hey, Hugh! My name's not Hugh. All right. But yeah, as I was saying, the Xbox, I'm not a huge fan of it. There's really no point of getting it. I actually did have an Xbox 360, but it crashed so many times. I'm probably going to make a video of this soon. But um, it crashed so many times, and it was like no point of keeping it if it was going to crash more than three times. So I just like, you know, forget, said forget about it, and I'm not going to go for it and stuff. So, yeah. Um, and the other thing is that, you know, Microsoft doesn't really make much good first party games. They only have a whopping two first party games. Uh, and, you know, they said they're going to make some new ones, some new franchises, but uh, it's not necessarily going to help too much because I don't think people's going to be interested in buying a new Xbox at this point. Um, oh, actually, let me go back and talk to this guy. Uh, I came to explore Mount Mortar, but I got separated from my partner. Did you run into a trainer who uses a Seedra? That Seedra's really good at using Waterfall. Uh, I think I saw a person, but before that, I want to look at the left side. Like I said, it's not really necessary to do this right now, but I want to try. I want to try to like you know get some as much stuff as I can. Um, like right here, we have an item I probably would have missed. Which is an Ultra Ball. Okay, well, that's, I guess, decent. Free Ultra Ball. It, as long as it's free, even though you don't need it, it's free. You have it, you could take it, and it's all yours to keep. Alright, let's just uh, head down here. Yeah, that boulder. I don't need that boulder. And this is the trainer I'm guessing the other guy wanted to meet. I'm losing this time. I'm not losing this time. You never lost any time. I never met you. Who are you? Oh, God. A guy just said it. Oh god, he has a Needle King. Uh. Okay, payback. Yes, you are stupid. You are stupid, but I'm gonna use payback, and I'm gonna hurt you, and I'm gonna. Uh, you know what? Also, this t at this point, this is a good time to uh not have to. Oh god. Yeah, I don't have to worry about uh you know Baba taking forever to call. He could call at any minute, actually. So. Okay, hopefully that can give me some good experience. Yes, it does. Level 28. Finally, Shrapnel uh, levels up. And, it, oh my god. It's trying to learn Spikes. That is a move I am most definitely giving it. Spikes. Uh, it's, it basically lays down some traps on the opponent's side. And every time your opponent comes in, uh, it will hurt the opponent. Um... You can lay at least four spikes at a time, uh, and it hurts the opponent even more. Uh, I don't know what to do. Mm. Let's get rid of Protect. I want to get rid of Payback, but I'm going to get rid of Protect because, I mean, 
Because I probably will need payback for, like, coverage and stuff. Um, actually, I did need pay payback in anyways. Alright, let's, uh, switch out into Fyrus. Yeah. This is a good, uh, episode, though. Even though we're not doing much, uh, I like how, like, I'm sure this is not disappointing for many of you because I know you guys wanted to see some more stuff happening. But, who knows, we could do some more stuff. There's gonna be some more stuff happening, you know? Alright, so... Oh, wow, Fyrus is about to level up as well. Alright, that's cool, too. And hopefully I won't get Poison Point, either. Alright, Tail Whip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your silly Tail Whips and your stinking Flame Wheels. And, yeah, back in my day, wait, Tail Whip sucks. But this time, it doesn't. <laughs> Alright, so we level up right there. And, yeah, Pokemaniac Harrison lost. I lost to some kid. You're probably smaller than me. I can't tell. I, he, he looks very young and not threatening to me at all. Alright, well, let's just bring up Yami. We have, like, two more uh, trainers to fight outside. If I could actually pass them, though. Okay, we can leave out here, and we're back to the beautiful music. Oh, I love it so much. I think there's an Arbok, a wild Arbok around here. Um, I'm not trying to catch it. I just want to, like, spy past these trainers. Because I don't think I... Actually, let's fight uh, just this guy. Yeah. Oh, God, I hope it's not a double battle. A double tag battle. Okay, it isn't. I miss double tag battles. They're not, they're not really used as much in this game, unfortunately, like I said before, but... Oh, well. And I'm hoping those frame rate's not bad right now, because... My capture card's detecting that it's like 58 frames per second, which is not bad at all, so I don't know what's with this. And... Let's do another uh, Thunder Shock. I don't know, maybe it'll do better once I uh, get it to work. Or maybe it won't. Uh, <laughs> Alright, Nidorino. Actually, no, the frames are dropping. They're dropping. They're dropping. Okay. Don't worry about it. I guess I could uh, just hang on to it. Alright, so we got there. And, ha, you're going to use Double Kick. You could easily get static. Uh, I got some ginger beer. It's some, it's some weird drink that I actually got that I never had before. Um, I think I had it once when I was a kid. Ginger beer. It's not actual beer, don't worry, I'm not old enough to drink, and I don't think I would drink, even though I will be older and stuff. It's basically uh, just a soda, ginger soda kind of thing. So yeah. And, oh my god, my frames are dropping. My frames are dropping. Um, that's okay, though, because, uh, because we're about to head into the next town. <laughs> With the rappel off at the same time, that's really uh, convenient. We made it to Mahogany Town, and this tree looks very strange. Do I need to use my Squirtle bottle? My Squirt bottle? I don't know. I guess that's going to be it for then. Um, next time in uh, Pokemon Heart Gold, we will be, uh, I guess, checking a tiny, tiny bit around. Actually, no, there's nothing to really look around here, except for this one house. But yeah, next time in Pokemon Heart Gold, we will head north of Mahogany Town, and uh, basically see what we can do, because, as you can look out here, the gym is getting blocked by another fat man, of course. Have you seen this guy with like, black cape? He was known, he was going back and forth between here and Lake of Rage, saying strange radio waves are being it transmitted. Who is he? I wonder. Alright, so next time we will be doing just that, alright? So thank you all for watching. And I will see you all whenever. But wait, that's not it. Uh, I actually forgot to buy out Machop back at Mount Mortar. A uh, Pokemon that we were given as a trade. But I never really, you know, talked about it at all. So I wanted to just talk about it before we actually end this episode off. So that way, in case any of you actually, who actually want a Machop, here we go. Uh, Machop is a very good, bulky physical attacker with that is slow. But it could still, you know, stand on its own grounds. It can learn a good wide variety of moves, but in order to get to its final evolution, you have to trade. Uh, but the best thing about this Pokemon is its ability, no guard, which means it will not miss. Um, 
any of its moves. However, in return, your opponent doesn't miss either. Okay, so that's about it. Sorry for the inconvenient mistake. But yeah, that's my trap right there. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all whenever.